Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. Today's card features Alex Siberia Designs Winter Garden from the February release. This floral frame has been resized so that I could work with larger blooms. This is definitely a bonus when working with digital stamps. So let's get started. I began by printing off this image on an 8.5 by 11 piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. I first die cut the top left hand corner with a stitched rectangle die in portrait orientation. I then die cut the flowers that were in the right hand corner using the same die so that I could maintain the stitch detail. This corner panel will be given dimension for some added interest. This image was also printed on masking paper. I fussy cut the same flowers that were present on the full panel. I tried to make sure that as I positioned the mask that it was a little bit inside the outline of the flowers. I knew that when I started the ink blending that if it wasn't I would have some haloing. Because the mask is larger, I position the top first using the backing paper to prevent the lower portion from sticking. After the overhang of the mask is trimmed off, I'm ready to start my ink blended background. The background was inked with Distress Oxide inks. I began with ice spruce along the flower's edge and then worked out with pumice stone a light grey and then my dark grey hickory smoke. I worked back and forth between the colours overlapping them until I had a nice smooth blend. I recently splurged on a set of Karen markers. This is my first project using them. It was fun experimenting with them as I find them a little bit different than other real brush pens. I began by mapping out my color palette. The watercolor was applied to an acrylic plate. I worked with a watercolor brush, wet the area, and then applied the color wash over all of the floral images and leaves. Because the ink blended background is neutral with soft grays and undertones of green, I was able to choose just about any color I wanted to work with. This was not such an easy decision to make. When choosing from the Karen markers with all of its beautiful range of colors, I really did end up pondering on it for quite some time. In the end, I chose six markers. Skin 2, Gold, Apple, Curry, Red Lilac, and Almond. I was aiming for a very soft palette with a little pop of colour with the Red Lilac flowers. By the time I had finished applying the colour wash, the flowers that I started with were dry and I was ready to start my detail work. Before painting, I filled in some of the background that was peeking through the flowers with Copic markers. I worked with BG90 and 93, a soft grey-green, which went well with the ink blended background. To provide some definition to the flowers and leaves, Shadow areas were added by applying the Karen markers directly to the paper. I used my favorite number 8 water brush to pick up a little bit of water and pull the color out creating a gradient. The leaves were painted with apple green. I introduced a little bit of gold just for some added interest. When watercoloring each of the flowers, I worked one petal at a time. The color was placed at the base of each petal and followed the line of any creases. As with other brands of watercolor brush pens, the coloring with the Karen markers goes fairly quickly. So I know I've shared on my blog post and maybe have mentioned it in a video 
that I am in the process of selling my house and it has been extremely busy. The only time I seem to be able to find to either make a card, write a blog post, edit a video is in the early morning. I mention this because as I'm editing, I keep seeing the floral sleeve of my, full disclosure, pajamas. Yes, I am painting in my pajamas. Honestly, I'm finding the days long and quite stressful. And so you just do what you have to do. And actually, I'm finding it quite comfortable working in my pajamas. And so this may be a trend that I continue in the future. With the painting complete, the little corner panel is adhered to white sheet foam. My acrylic plate was handy, so I just popped that on top so that there is good contact between the foam and the paper while it dries. The foam is fussy cut along the floral edge once it is completely dry. The corner panel is just set in place until the sentiment is positioned. The Thinking of You sentiment is from the Christmas Rose Stamp Set by Maker Forte. This is another design by Alex Siberia. Before stamping, I prepare the area with a little bit of anti-static powder. The stamp is inked with Versamark and embossed in gold. While I melt the embossing powder, I heat both the front and the back of the panel to help minimize warping. The panel is adhered to an A2 top folding card base. Most of my cards go in the mail, so I need a really sturdy card base. I like to use Nina Classic Crest 110 pound cardstock. A black gel pen is used to redraw all of the stamens and to add in some additional definition to some of the flower centers. This added detail is a nice finishing touch to the flowers. The foam backed corner panel is adhered to the main panel. The card is embellished here and there with gold confetti. They are adhered with Nouveau Precision Glue. This is my glue of choice for all embellishments. The confetti is topped up with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. When the morning dew is dry, it is clear and leaves a jewel-like appearance. This is one of my favorite ways to finish up cards. And on that note, that wraps up this card featuring Alex Siberia Designs Winter Garden. As always, I appreciate your visit.